this is what today's video is going to be about. It's making the one on the left from the one on the right. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to put a big warning here. Uh, audio, audially, auditorially. Verbally, I am telling you that there is a warning. If you haven't by 15 seconds of actual video plus seven seconds of intro gotten it, then it's too late for you. This is extremely um, heresy filled, but I'm going to be showing you how to remove the print off of a printed piece, but not the whole print. There's a lot of people out there that can show you how to do the whole print. I just want to remove part of the print. So I'm hopefully going to have a mock-up picture that I'll show you at some point on screen right about now-ish of what I'm going to be trying to do. And the only things we're going to need today are some some things that you probably have in your office right now in your desk drawer, your school supplies. This is scotch tape. It's in the purple um, flannel pattern because it's the satin finish. Uh, I don't think it actually matters, but satin uh, is a little bit easier to see sometimes, the uh, satin finish on a shiny Lego brick. And then a medium soft eraser. Now, if you're not from America, they call those very lewd things, and I'm not going to say condom on a children's channel, so don't, um, you know, that. So the basic step is, the, ba the basic idea is that we're going to try and cover up the things we do want to keep and everything else we're going to basically leave exposed and then erase it. So to start out with, I actually want to put it onto a bigger piece like a collection plate. Um, and then I want wanted to stay there because I want it to be a wanted poster. I don't think I want the Joker on there at all, so I'm going to have to actually like line this up pretty good. It helps if you put uh, a couple fingerprints behind the tape just a little bit to make it slightly less sticky, I've been told, but as long as it's not touching the... I, I think I messed up on this one. Let's try it one more time. So we don't want it on the Joker, we want it between Wanted and the, and there's a fair amount of space there, so you don't have to try too hard, but of course I can't do it on camera, but that's all that it takes, and if I hold that up real close to the camera and focus, you can see where that line goes right between the two. So that'll keep the Wanted nice and safe. The other thing I'm going to try and keep is the words at the bottom. So I need another piece of tape. Let me see if I can do it through the camera. Just a couple fingerprints under there. And... It's like putting stickers on, which is not my biggest favorite thing. Let me visually inspect that with my eyes. That's not quite perfect. There. Hold it up to the camera. You should be able to see that it's covering just the implied words at the bottom. So that's nice and done. Now, <laughs> the big, big plan, if I could do this absolutely how I wanted, would be to try and keep a face in there, but I'm not sure that's going to work. Um, and honestly, I don't have the patience because it's not been this experiment. So I'm going to show you a couple other examples at the end of the video, too, or the beginning, maybe. Maybe I've already showed you them. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and actually start um, erasing the print, and I will do it over a Popeye's tin thingy. Hit the autofocus so it can hopefully watch it. Actually, we can try and focus in right about there. Okay. So, basically, you're just going to rub on there. Try not to peel up the tape the best you can. It will make a big uh, erasery mess with little rubber bits going everywhere. 
But um, yeah, that's it. You're just gonna rub it back and forth, little circles sometimes. And uh, once you start getting some actual uh, racer shavings, you'll notice that uh, it's working its magic and you'll see some of the print disappearing, which you can just start to see, which it's not going to be focused because it's way too close again. Touch. Just a, just a little bit of the red starting to come off on the... Uh, on the eraser there, you can see it getting a little pink. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause and then I'll come back and show you what I've got. It's been less than five minutes of just actually rubbing on the, the face is all I've been rubbing there. Um, I've got almost all of it complete. You can see a little bit of the lips still and some of the hair starting to fade and the chin and a little bit of the uh, sides of the face are starting to go away. but. That's almost exactly-ish what I wanted, so I'm going to try something. Uh, I'm going to do a little more work on that and then come back and see you. Now you might notice is that if you look just right, you can almost see it. And I don't know if it's going to pick up on the camera or not. But you can almost see the outline of what you uh, have just erased. But that's okay. So Now the only big thing I want left to get rid of is the Joker. Um, I kind of like the the face and body that I've got. So that's just another piece of tape. And I'm going to cover everything but the Joker. Again, a couple couple fingerprints underneath it just to just for good measure. And did I get it? Yeah, I think I did. So that's what we got now, is we got another piece of tape covering everything but the Joker. So now I will go ahead and rub that out, and I'll be back and see you. Now, in less than 20 minutes, I've actually done pretty good. It's, I've removed the face, I've got a little bit of wearing around the edges of the, the face, which isn't ideal. I've removed the name, which is a big deal. And that's pretty much what I was aiming for. Now, if I had actually had like a bajillion the hours to spend on it and like really wanted to do a good job, I could have um, taped off just the the um, eyebrows and the lips, um, taped off everything but those, and then actually done that. But what I have here is a Sharpie, and I'm going to go ahead and try and just put little dot eyes and see. Let's see what they look like, just to just for funsies it's a it's a fine tip sharpie so if i just put one right here one right here it's a little fine so we'll just a little smile that smile's not very good but that's uh that's what it could have looked like maybe the eyes are also wonky, but that's actually on the tape still because I haven't removed the tape. So let's let's go ahead and pull off the tape and see what we are left with. So by having put it on the big piece, we do have flaps on the back that we can get to that are nice and preserved. Nice and preserved. Okay. Oh, are they, they taped down by this side one? Hmm. <laughs> okay, why aren't they coming up? Here comes one. Okay. So that was the one over wanted. And then let's try peeling up over here. This is the one covering the majority of the face, which actually has the little smile on it. And then there was one more on the bottom here that was covering that bottom text. Oops. I ripped the piece of tape, but you can very easily see where it is on there. It's not uh, hidden or anything. And again, I don't know if the satin really helps with that, but why not? So now I have some tape. Stick that on my tape ball. And that is the finished product. Fairly good looking. 
Um, and again, you could, if you you were super industrious, you could throw a little bit of eyes and mouth in there. But it's just a generic wanted poster now. It looks like it might be faded a little bit, which is which is nice. I can see that going like right, right here. Just wanted a little skewed or something. And it would look great in just about any kind of setting. So that's that's the secret video that took forever to make. I hope you didn't hate it. If you did hate it, sucks to suck, sucker. Bye.